Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the Serverside.com and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about doing a top-down web service mapping. That is, uh, I've got a WSDL file here and given this WSDL file, I could I create an EJB based on it? Well, it's pretty easy to do inside of Eclipse because Eclipse provides a bunch of tools for doing exactly that. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a dynamic web project, and I'll call it top-down web service. I've got Wildfly configured. I'm going to do a minimal configuration. Wildfly is my runtime. Everything looks good here. I'll click Finish. And once that's done, I'll go into the tool and I'll say, hey, I want to create a new web service. And it'll say, what type of web service do you want to do? And I'm going to say, hey, I don't want to do a bottom-up. I want to do a top-down. It then says, where is your service definition? And, you know, I did a, a bottom-up web service definition earlier. And I'm just going to click Cancel there. I'll go back into it. And I'm going to copy the WSDL file from the bottom-up web service into this top-down web service folder. And you can see I've got this nice little WSDL file here that represents the different functions that our scorekeeper is going to do, or scorekeeper for a rock, paper, scissors game. Um, so I need that WSDL file inside the project. I should have done that earlier. I will now once again go back in, create that web service. So I'm going to do a top-down Java Bean web service. There is the definition there. Top-down web service, scorekeeper.wisdl. I'll click Next, accept the defaults. Skip that launching, and all of a sudden I get a new Java class. In fact, I get a bunch of new Java classes. You'll see I got the scorekeeper interface, the scorekeeper service interface, the locator, the binding, the skeleton, the stub. Boy. Lots of stuff when you're creating EJBs. Um, but you'll see that right here, I've got this scorekeeper soap binding impl class. And this class really just represents the heart of my application. And I can code whatever I want in here, and this will be called when the web service runs. So, you know, I could do something really simple. You shouldn't put state or anything inside of a web service. But in this case, I'm going to just uh, add a static variable, and state will be managed if all the requests come in in a single JVM, because it's static, so you shouldn't do it this way, but this uh, will prove out our example. So I'm going to create a static variable of type int called wins, losses, and ties, so i got three variables there. So if somebody wants the losses, they return... If they want to increase wins, if they want to increase ties, what else do we have here? Increase losses, get wins, return the number of wins, and get ties, return the number of ties. Now, and not wins, she's just introduced a bug. So we've got get cut ties, get wins, get losses, increase wins, increase ties, increase losses. Those are all the different methods that are defined by the WSDL file. If you go in there you can dig down and you'll see you know get losses, increase wins, all of that stuff's defined in this file here. And so with that class coded, and as I said you could create other Java beans. I mean, you probably should. We're defining everything inside this impl file. But with that coded, we can now actually just run and test our web service. So I'm going to take this class and I'm going to say, hey, let's run this on the server. Use Wildfly. Click Finish. So here I'm going to go Web Services, Test with Web Service Explorer. This is my scorekeeper WSDL file in my top-down mapping web service project. So you can see that. I'll open this up a little larger. And you notice it's got all of the methods that I defined earlier. You can see it's in the top-down web service project. And if I go in here and I say get ties, 
Notice the number of ties is zero. If I say increase ties, the number of ties is one. If I keep doing that, one, two, three, four, five, we get a bunch of ties. I can increase wins, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Increase losses, go, go, go. And then if I go back here and say get the wins, notice it says six, get losses, it says three, and get ties, it says six. Looks like our average is actually pretty good. Um, and that's it. That's all there is. So it's just that easy. If you've got a, a WSDL file, you can go in here. Uh, you can do a top-down web services generation and a whole SOAP-based, Apache Access-based servlet application gets developed for you. It's just that easy.